your side. I'll swoop uh, Wait, I'll start problem. your I'm doing problem thing and I'm doing time. I'm doing problem. Yeah, twenty minutes. Yeah, agenda, 20. Wait, mm -hmm. yeah. two, one, go. With fifteen cities experiencing the best growth on the planet in Africa, um, I believe that it's crucial for Denon to uh, participate in expanding into this um, great territory to expand their sales, operations, revenues, and take advantage of this um, efficiency that they're having in this territory. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rudy Rodriguez, and these are my colleagues, Simon and William. And today we're gonna be presenting why exactly this is the case. So the agenda for today consists of the problems and mandates, followed by the PESO analysis and options analysis, finalizing with the recommendation and implementation. Yeah, so to start things off, here is our, the problems that we have identified in this case. The first one is that Danone is looking to expand their uh, company. Uh, on a greater scale, they're looking to go a bit more on the global side to the point where the global scale is their biggest uh, operating, uh, their biggest scale of operations. Uh, followed by the, look, the interest into expanding, their main focus has been set on Africa. They recognize that Africa is one of the most probably growing continents in the world. Uh, several African countries show to have the highest population growth rates. And they really set in on Kenya as the primary target for this expansion. So the question that remains here is how should we expand it to Kenya? This brings us to our mandate, which is to determine which option is best to go with either the option to build uh, our own plant in the country or uh, outsource our supply from one of our existing plants and importing uh, the product into the country. So here we have our pestle analysis. First off, we will be looking at the political aspects of Kenya. Uh, first off, they are a democratic government, which is very similar to what we have here in our West, Western uh, civilization. It's followed by uh, very high military tensions in Africa. As we know, they have many uh, military implications and many military conflicts within the, that continent, which could prove to be a problem for us down the line. Also, the health standards are not great in Kenya. That is recognizable by their health and sanitary uh, standards in their plants, as well as uh, numerous of their buildings. Followed by the economic scale. Uh, so economically, there's a very large disparity that we have established in Kenya. This is a large disparity in the population wealth. So we recognize that there are people that, that are ultra rich in Kenya, as well as on the uh, complete other extremity that people are very poor. So this disparity is very big and it's something that we also have to take into account. Next up on the social aspect, we recognize that is, it is one of the highest population growth rates within Africa itself. And the key takeaway here is that there is a need for our products in Kenya. So to start it off, I'm going to talk a bit about option A. So just for a recap, uh, option A, uh, it's called Greenfield. It's to build a plant and establish a product distribution in Kenya. So like I said, we have to build a plant in Kenya. Also, um, this would establish a 10% market share plus a 5% annual growth for the next five years and uh, capping at 35% uh, indefinitely. After that, uh, there unfortunately is a risk of being expropriated or the plants destroyed because Africa unfortunately isn't the safest of uh, the continents. Kenya has a couple problems like my um, colleague Simon talked a bit about. Uh, also, on a more positive note, uh, it's cheaper to uh, get the raw materials because it's locally purchased and we have our establishments here in, uh, in Kenya. Uh, with that said, there are also a lower logistic cost, so again, because the goods are produced locally. Um, in uh, another you know, positive uh, remark, uh, there's also, unfortunately, a <laughs> higher marketing cost, so the advertisement we'll have to advertise that there's also a locally produced, so that will cost more in the um, marketing department. Uh, because we have our... Um, our um, plants in Kenya will have to hire more employees than if we had just exported. And to finish off, uh, this project would cost 10 million for the billion, uh, 10 million for the building, sorry, and it would be an extra 8 million for a line to produce all these. 
Uh, so, uh, with that in mind, the implementation of this option would start with getting a construction permit uh, in Kenya. So that could be a, a pretty hard uh, permit to get. So we would have to do more research on that. Also, we have to find con uh, contractors as well, which is, again, could be tricky because we are building in Kenya and we do not have that many contacts over there. And after that, we have to begin construction. What I want you guys to take away from all of this, it's unfortunate this could be a very slow process because there's a lot of work to do. I'll pass it off to my colleague, Rudy, for the finances. So yeah, when looking at the finances for each option, as we can see with the finances, um, so there's gonna be experiencing steady growth throughout the first little bit. Um, so throughout the percentages, it's easier to see than the graphs that they're very close. So with the bear market, as you can see, 5.8% um, growth in this first year, base market 6%, and then bull market 6.2%. As the years go on, it's be harder to grow at the same rate. So as you can see, the growth declining throughout the years. Um, when we look at the net, as option A includes building a plant, the first, uh, the net costs, um, the cost increase in the net uh, income in the first couple of years are very, uh, steep as you can say as there's an increased cost for the factories we're building the employees we're hiring um, and all the additional costs with that but as we go on um, the production costs become cheaper in mind as we're going to be producing way more products thus the cost for the materials using these products that we're going to be increasing the materials that we use um, are going to be cheaper overall and uh, decrease in nature so as you can see the higher production capacity is definitely good for this option A, but then again, with the increased cost in the short run, it's not as efficient as if we are do the option B. Yeah, so option B uh, is now the one that we'll be looking at our, uh, looking at the overview for. So initially, we do notice that there is a pay of 10% of retail price for distribution. Additionally, there are more material costs involved with the option B. However, there are no industrial costs, meaning that we won't have to build the plant and no physical location means no industri industrial costs. There will be, however, higher transformation costs, uh, however, also lower marketing costs. We don't have to advertise our products since it will be dis distributed uh, or commercialized by, uh, Ken by the Kenyan distributors. Uh, there is also less employees, or in fact, no need of employees at all to run our building because there won't be one. And uh, we will also incur a $4 million additional cost for the uh, in, for the upgrade of a line from an in, in existing uh, existing plant. So for the implementation of uh, the second option, uh, we've got we have to start off by um, distributing to the stores in Kenya. So that's going to be the biggest and the hardest part of that. We'll also have to get an upgrade on our existing lines that will cost four million dollars. It's a little less than the first. Uh, option but it's still a lot of money and uh, we have to find um, a way to transport products from neighboring countries so we'll have to get contacts in different countries to try and figure out a way to give it to King. Already. Now when looking at the finances for option B as I explained before as we will not be producing the factory or needing to increase employees for this um, exact option as we will use the employees already stationed in Kenya um, throughout the first years, our net income has become closer to the gross, ba uh, gross income of, these, uh, of this option. Um, but as the years go on, as we experience with the other option, the production increase, increase in materials, so thus we get cheaper costs for these materials. Um, as you can see, the key takeaway is cheaper. But when comparing these two in the payback period speculation, then um, it's easier to pay back option B as we will not be um, creating our own factory and increasing our employees working at these factories. We'll be using their factories and their employees. So the payback period for this option is definitely um, quicker than the other one. Uh, when looking at the MPVs, throughout the first couple of years, the MPVs look very much similar, um, but then again, this option allows you to get an MPV cro uh, closer to the gross margin um, as a cause of not using the extra employees in the factories like I discussed. Uh, so it definitely has a better MPV in the short run, but in the long term, uh, with the increased production capacity as option A it does have, uh, you'll look at MPVs greater in that sense as our material costs decrease with the production capacity increases. So for the uh, recommendation, we think 
that the best option would be a mix of the two options. So in the more long term, in a couple of years down the road when we're established, we think building a plant would be a very, very good idea. But to start off, we think option B, so exporting our goods would be the best option for uh, then on. Yeah, so of course ESG is also a very big topic in today's age. We're always looking to be more environmentally friendly and trying to help uh, each other's societies as much as we can. And uh, referring to Mechnikov and Carrasso's main objective uh, when uh, talking about the history of Danone is to improve people's health. And how can we do that in terms of Kenya's situation? Like mentioned, there's a very uh, major health crisis in Kenya. The first one being that the mortality rate of 50% uh, for any children under the age of five as well as the life expectancy of 62 years, which compared to the global life expectancy isn't high at all. This is where we realize that there is a massive nutrition problem and overall a general health problem. So our initi initiatives would include two different ones. The first one would be a collaboration with Red Cross in, in order to increase medical attention in Kenya. That way we can try to get the medical attention that they need in order to you know, really lower that mortality rate from children that are from one to five, which is completely inhumane. Next up, we have our initiative of 25% of our sales that, have, that incur in Kenya will go towards the construction of brand new water wells throughout Kenya's villages where they need it the most. So for the implementation of our plan, uh, that meaning that we want to get the plan B and the plan A. Uh, so starting off, like I said, we think exporting our goods is going to be the best way to go along with this. In the medium term is when we'll start doing things to help Kenya as a country. The, uh, the starters of uh, this company always had in mind that helping others was the way to run a business. So like my colleagues said, we'd like to uh, get a, like a partnership with Red Cross and also Doctors uh, Without Borders to help out the country a little more, as well as maybe starting a wall project just to help out with the router crisis in Kenya. And in the long term, like I said previously, we think that in the long run, when we're more established and we have a better cash flow, that building a plant is going to be easier for us because like I said, we'll have a little more cash flow and that'll be a way smoother process than we started in 2015. So for a recap, yeah. my uh, colleague Simon will give you the recap of the whole. So to recapitulate, we started from the top. We noticed that there are three major keys to be made. The first one being that there's a very low health standard in Kenya. The second, meaning that political standards are a, a bit uh, rigorous in terms of military conflicts. And the third being that there is, of course, a, a health crisis in terms of the children. Now, if we were to look at these uh, key takeaways, this is where you'd see that there is a certain uh, demand for our products in Kenya and why we should really be involved in that country per se. Now, when looking at the two options, obviously we know that each one has their pros and cons. The first one being that there's very high initial costs, as well as that production will have to take a, a, quite a couple of years in order to get started. Well, option B is a bit more seamless. You know, We get our supply from, extra, from neighboring countries who already have our plants and buildings in place, and that's when we import our product to Kenya. That is why we believe that option B, you know, with Oh, we can look at it from the other point. If we go with option A and we build a building, that's when we will notice that the military conflicts will come into place and mains our building will pretty much be unsafe in that country. We can't say for certain that it won't have to be destroyed for any reasons, right? Another reason being that the sanitary conditions are very low in that country for any plant that they have and operate in. That is why building a plant or building our building in Kenya would mean that health standards would have to go much lower than what or we're used to which would not be safe at all. That is why option B would be better for the short term, where we're gonna bring our product from external neighboring countries and commercialize it through Kenyan distributors. Then on the longer term, that's when we're, we're planning, once we become more established in the Kenyan environment and the Kenyan society, that's when we're gonna build our building and run operations on Kenyan soil. And that's that's with that said, thank you so much guys. Uh, I hope you'll take our uh, recommendations at heart and uh thank you so much if you have any questions let us know <laughs> all right thank you guys no problem. what did i just 14 start? minutes and 32 minutes long. Did I get for like under time yeah.